Mr. Mishra and I'm from class 7B. Today I am here to perform an science experiment for my science exhibition. That is, making China rose indicator and testing substances as acidic, basic and neutral. So, let's get started. So, to perform this, firstly we need to make China rose indicator. For making China rose indicator, take some looking on water and so petals of China rose in it. Sometimes you will see that the that the petals have released their color. Now we need to strain this. As you can see, our indicator is ready. ready to perform this experiment. This is the indicator and these are the substances. So the question is that how will we get to know that the substances are acid, base or neutral. So the answer is China rose gives dark pink color when added to acid, green when added to base and no color changes when added to neutral. So let's get started. Here I have soap solution. No color changes, so it's neutral. Detergent solution. Green, so it's a base. Now, sugar solution. No color changes, so it's neutral. Now we need it. That thing. So it's a it's an acid. Now we will do the correction of fans. Soap solution and detergent solution. Base. Now, lemon juice and vinegar. Acid. Water and sugar solution. Neutral. Now, as you can see, we have three types. Base, acid and neutral. In which the indicator gave dark pink color in acid. Green color in base and neutral. No color changes. Thank you. Everyone, myself Dave Singh from Standard 6A is standing before you to present my science project. And my topic is a working model of a periscope. The periscope is an optical instrument that allows an object that are not seen in a direct line of sight to be viewed. It uses a system of prism, lens, or mirror to reflect the images through the tube. It is used in submarine so that the people inside it can see what is going on the water surface. Periscope is also used in armored vehicles like tanks. Nuclear reactors also have periscope to observe the chemical reactions taking place inside it. It uses a system of principle of law of reflection. A simple periscope is just a long tube and a mirror fitted at each end. 
mirror are fitted into 45 at an angle of 45 degrees so that they can face each other. Light from a distance, object strikes on the top of the mirror is then reflected at an angle of 90 degrees down the tube view and enters into the observer's eye. In this way, objects can be viewed through the periscope. Now, here you can see I am observing through this periscope and I can see the flower. I will also show you the inner view of the flower. Hope you all like my working model of Periscope. Thank you. Good morning, one and all. I am Yamiata Patel from Sandor 50B. Today I am going to explain about rooftop rainwater harvesting. We all know underground water is decreasing day by day because of more use of water, less rainfall, and deforestation. So rooftop rainwater harvesting is the method to save water for long term. What is rainwater harvesting? This process of collecting water from rainwater from roof of our house and storing in tank is called rooftop rainwater harvesting. Let's see how it works. The rainwater runs down and then pour down into the filter tank. This tank purifies the water with charcoal method. This, this charcoal removes mud, insects, leaves, twigs, etc. This charcoal filter removes impurity and this water passes through pipe by in storage tank. It is used for drinking, for planting, washing and animal birds, also drink water. So this method is effective and beneficial to save water for long term. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Adhya Abhishek Singh from Class 6. I standing before you to present my science project and my topic is to make it working model of a torch using waste materials. As you can see here, I have used a roll of aluminium foil, front part of plastic bottle, battery, bulb, a piece of cardboard, wires and a switch. This torch works on a battery or a cell that generates electricity that flows to the bulb as soon as we switch on. Right now I will show you the inner view of my model. Here you can see I have made a circuit arrangement. A wire from the positive terminal of the battery joins in one terminal of the bulb. Another wire from the another terminal of the bulb joins the negative terminal of the battery. A switch is also attached to control the supply of electricity. A battery contains chemicals which produce electricity. So what happens when we on it is completed. Electricity produced inside the battery runs through this wire and the electricity starts from the positive terminal and return back to the negative terminal of the battery. This way the circuit is completed. In the, this whole process, the filament present inside the bulb receives electricity and it glows and it produces light. So when we switch on the bulb close when we switch off the circuit has broken and we and the bulb does not glow now i will show you practically you can see my reflection this torch is used when there is no electricity i hope you like my torch model thank you name is sanchita yadav from class 5th b we all have tongue in our mouth we eat a variety of food. We taste the food with our tongue. This is a model of a tongue. A fleshy organ in our mouth is called tongue. A tongue has many tiny buds on its surface called taste buds. There are four taste buds. On the tip of the tongue is sweet taste bud. On the front side of a tongue is salty taste bud. On the back side of a tongue is sour taste bud and on the middle back side of a tongue is bitter taste bud.
There is saliva present on the tongue whenever we eat any food item. The food gets mixed in the saliva which activates the taste buds present on the tongue which gives gives us the taste. This is how we are able to get the different tastes. So friends, our tongue is very important part of our body. It not only helps us to taste food but also helps us to talk and express our feelings. At last, I request everyone to take proper care of their tongue. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning to respective teachers. I am Dudir Prashant Patil from Tender 70. Today I am going to tell you what is electromagnet and how it is made. In, first of all, I will tell you what is electromagnet. An electromagnet is a magnet in which magnetic field is produced by the electric current. Now I will tell you how to make it. The things which we needed are an iron nail and copper wire and cell and some metal objects. The first step is to coil. The first step is to coil the copper wire around the iron nail. We have to coil the copper wire around the iron nail like this. Make sure that the two ends of the copper wires are free. The second step is to line up the two ends of the copper wire around the cell. We have to line up the two ends of the copper wire like this. It gets very warm during this process, the copper wire. So I am using paper tape here. Now I will show you it has become magnet. It will attract magnet, metallic objects. See, it is attracting metallic objects. This proves that it has become magnet. Now I will tell you how it works. Electromagnets usually consist of Wound, wire wound into a coil around a magnet. A current is passed through the wire. The current through the wire creates the current passed through the wires creates a magnetic field which attracts metallic objects. This is how it works. So thank you.